Hey guys, Chief Oscar Boy here, and today I want to help you with your Transformers Masterpiece Collections. So, have any of you heard of KO or Knockout? They are third party masterpiece toys that are brought out. Um, if you do know about them, you may have seen them on eBay. So, you get a normal Optimus Prime, a normal Bumblebee figure, because most uh, KOs are actually built on the Bumblebee. So, you get a normal Bumblebee figure, about $50. Get a KO, it's twenty five. There is not not there isn't much difference. Um, I haven't been able to uh, tell all the differences from it because I only have one. But uh, I want to help you recognize it from recognize a KO figure without the actual toy. So I have uh, uh, two uh, Frenzy and Buzzsaw uh, figures, two Frenzy and Buzzsaw sets. One of them is a KO, and the other one is a normal original uh, MP Masterpiece uh, set. Okay, so let's get started. So here are the two boxes. First off, there is one big thing missing. If I move the camera down and move them off a bit closer, you may be able to see. Number one, the Transformers logo is missing on the KO. Number two, and this is the biggest way to tell. On here, you can see, can you? It says MP16. Put that down. Here, it says CP16. So, um, yeah, that's uh, one of the, that's a knockoff. Here, it says Takara. Here it says to Casa. Another difference. Turn it to the sides. Again, missing the Transformers logo. CP16, MP16, with a Decepticon logo. To Casa Takara. And there are subtle changes in the looks of the figure on the uh, on the picture. So that is a lighter, more nicer colouring. That is a more dark colouring. On the other side, again, uh, Transformers logo, Transformers logo, CP16, MP16, Takasa, Takara. On the top, missing the Transformers logo. I can't hold these. Missing the Transformers logo, CP16 on this one and MP16 on this one, and Takara and Takasa. On the back, I don't think there is much difference. This is Knockout, and that is Original. Not much difference, as you can probably see, except on this one, the Knockout has a lot less writing down the bottom here. Um, this one has a lot more writing. And I can see some subtle differences in the writing here. Yeah, so if you go three lines down, the writing is different. You probably won't be able to see it, and my fo my camera won't focus. But yes, there are some big differences on the back. And again, Destron, Cassetron, Frenzy and Buzzsaw, KO. And Transformers Masterpiece, Destron, Cassetron, Frenzy and Buzzsaw, Transformers Masterpiece, so there are a lot, a uh, lot more differences here. Okay, taking them away. Now we go to the cards. Probably guess which one is which. This is Knockout. This is Original. Missing the Transformers logo because that is, as you probably know, copyright. Uh, CP16, MP16, uh, Friends in Buzzsaw, Destron, Cassetron. Pictures don't look too different. This one's a bit less coloring it has a less a little bit less coloring i don't know how well it comes through but on this one there's a crap ton more coloring especially on buzzsaw on the back there is probably some subtle differences in the writing knockout original but that's about all for the uh cards on the Original instructions got MP 
16 up here, Deathstrong, Cassettron, Frenzy and Bustle. This is the original. On the back, there you are, Takatomi, everything. On the, on the KO, doesn't have the Transformers logo, CP16, Frenzy and Buzzsaw. I think it's a bit different, but I'm not too sure. On the back, you just have the instructions and everything. So, that is um, how you tell these two apart. And, difference between the actual toy itself, the only visible difference is if you get Frenzy. So, the toy, the original toy, has the Decepticon logo, logo on his abs. The knockout toy does not have a Decepticon logo anywhere. Put him back. And on Buzzsaw, on the wings, you can see the Decepticon logo, if you can't see. Decepticon logo hasn't been molded onto the ring wing properly, and it is off to the side. I don't know if that's just mine, or if that's everyone's, but... <clears throat> okay, on to the next one. This is the last one. This is the KO Bumblebee box. It does have Transformers Masterpiece and the Volkswagen. It has, instead of... Instead of having like Frenzy and Buzzsaw, CP16, it has CMP, not CP. Um, they are both Takasa, though, again. But this has the um, Sony Transformers Masterpiece writing on the top, on the side, not much difference. Takasa Tony, Tony. I think, yeah, yeah, another difference. That's Takasi, Takasa Tony, and this is Takasi, Takasa Tomy. So that's another difference. Um, again, just CMP, not uh, that's supposed to be an Autobot logo. There and there. I don't have anything to compare it against, but um, I'm sure that the normal one would not look much different. But there you go. Uh, I would recommend if you're going to get a KO, get the uh, Bumblebee KO because it's not much different. If you really don't put the Masterpiece boxes on display, then it's good to get it um, because not, most people won't just notice that straight away. But Because the figure is mostly all we care about. A lot of people like me like the packaging, but for you guys who don't care about the packaging, get, get the KOs because... Um, so far, the only KOs I know is this one and uh, Frenzy and Buzzsaw and and some others. But this one is, uh, I think Bumblebee is the only one that doesn't make any difference to the actual figure. It only make a, makes a difference to the packaging. But yes, it is. Uh, they are sneaky. I don't know what they are for because they get less money than the actual figures. But... Um, here, if you are like a massive, massive collector like me on the Transformers Masterpieces, it can really make you angry if you end up getting something like this. Or you end up getting something like this. You want the official packaging. I got this, luckily. My friends gave me this for my birthday, and I had bought this already. So, yeah, okay. So this is the original. This is good packaging. You keep this. I'll keep this because I don't have any others and it's um, a better version of knockoff because it makes it as good as possible. They don't put the Autobot logo there because it's copyright, as you know. But that's to help you further along in your collecting masterpiece uh, editions of your collection. And one more thing. I have been on eBay. I created a an account on eBay and I got a massive massive deal on toys I wanted to get. So these are the toys that I will be reviewing soon and are on their way. Prowl, Ultra Magnus, Thundercracker, Starscream, and I'm getting the collector's card. I'm getting the, um, the legit collector's card, the legit uh, instructions, and the legit collector's coin for Optimus Prime because the Optimus Prime I got it, the Hasbro, does not, only the Takara version comes with the cards and the good masterpiece uh, instructions. So I'm going to get them. That's only like $10. It only costs $10, which is pretty good. 
and I'm going to be able to show you the collector's card, which I've, I love the collector's cards for the Masterpiece figures, I just love it. And uh, the instructions I love as well because they got the uh, lineup of Prime like it had the lineup of Soundwave on the Soundwave's um, instruction set. But yeah, I can't wait. And that's four Transformers Masterpiece figures on their way. Yep, pretty sure. Well, Prowl's already coming. I've already ordered him and I'm waiting for some more. I just stopped the video just to go check something because I had, as soon as I told you what Transformers I'm getting, I had a niggling doubt at the back of my mind. I had missed one. I'm also getting the legitimate um, masterpiece, Ironhide. So I'm getting Prowl, Ultra Magnus, Starscream, Thundercracker, and Ironhide. So I'm getting five new masterpiece figures, and they're all coming at the same time. I'm super duper excited. At first, I was getting Ratchet and Smokescreen and Shockwave as well. But then I realized I had it in American dollars, which made it look cheaper. So I can't get them. Uh, I had my birthday a few weeks ago, and I've gotten money from work. And um, and I, I sold some stuff on eBay, so I have all that money, and I can get those figures, and they'll be all here within 40 days. Well, it said maximum 40 days, which is a long time, unfortunately. But hopefully I'll get them soon. And I cannot wait to show you guys and everything because apparently Prowl's one of the best, and I've been waiting to get uh, the Seeker Mold, so I'm getting two of them, Thundercracker and Starscream. Ultra Magnus is awesome. He's big, he's just such a cool figure all over, and Ironhide's awesome as well, and I can't wait. Um, and I thought my Masterpiece collection was full. There we are, there's my Masterpiece collection. I've had to move some of my movie collections down to the lower levels, and some of the uh, Titans Return, Fall of Cybertron, and Movie. And a lot of them just went into drawers down there. But I'm going to have to move all those figures away. And then I'm have to going to clean all these out for more Masterpiece figures. I am so excited about that. But, yep. Thumbs up for the new Transformers. And thumbs up just for my videos because my video is awesome. Don't disagree with me. You know they are. And subscribe if you want more. Okay, thank you. See ya.